Why am I talking about banana bread when it's time for plum cake? Well, you see, anybody can make a plum cake if they follow a recipe to the dot. But not everybody can make a good, soft, moist banana bread. So in this video, I'm going to share 7 tips on how to make banana bread for beginners. And if you're already making banana bread but you don't seem to like the way they turn out to be, then this video is for you. Super Ripe Bananas Usually, when you pick bananas from the grocery store, they are free of blemishes or spots. But if you use them in your banana bread recipe, I hate to say it, you won't taste a banana in your bread. Because these are very low in sugar and flavor. So we need bananas that have spots, numerous black spots, very mushy to touch. Those super ripe bananas are high in sugar, which is what imparts that distinctive natural banana flavor. Breaking down the banana makes a huge difference. We need banana flavor throughout the bread. So cutting them down into slices is not going to give you the banana flavor. So use a fork to mash the banana down and not a food processor or a mixer grinder to do this job. By the way, do this in a separate bowl before adding other ingredients. Let's prepare the dry ingredients. In the mixing bowl, add 225 grams of all-purpose flour, 120 grams sugar, 1 teaspoon baking powder, 1 4 teaspoon baking soda, a pinch of salt, 1 teaspoon cinnamon, and if you don't like cinnamon, you can add crushed 3 pods of cardamom. Choosing the right flour for baking banana bread. Now I have used all-purpose flour and it works fine, but do not use bread flour as the protein content in bread flour is higher. So higher that protein content, the more gluten-forming protein a specific type of flour contains. Also note that sifted flour is much lighter and airier than unsifted flour and it's easier to mix when we add them to the wet mixture. Now let's prepare the wet ingredients. In a bowl, add two eggs at room temperature. Whisk it and then add to the mashed bananas. Also add in one teaspoon vanilla and lastly, half a cup of any neutral tasting oil. Combine them thoroughly. Do not develop the gluten. Less is more. We only need the spatula and nothing else. Skip the beater or whisk. The key to the moist loaf is not to overmix the batter. When we overmix the batter, gluten develops before baking. And while baking, it makes the bread chewy and dense. Not the delicious warm banana bread that you're hoping for. If you don't grease the pan, banana bread is stubborn and it won't release itself. Apply or spray oil or butter on the baking pan to get a smooth finish. Now whether you choose to apply oil and dust it with flour or use a parchment paper or baking sheet, that's truly up to you. But doing either of it is going to give you a clean good looking banana bread. Sufficient bake time. Now because we are using dark bananas that are high in sugar, it will take a long time which is why unlike a typical bake of 30 or 40 minutes, banana bread takes anywhere between 50 to 70 minutes depending on the number, the ripeness of the banana and the oven being used. It's always better to test it using a toothpick to ensure it's evenly baked. We're down to the last one. This could be a preference to some. Now, I mean the experts suggest that a good banana bread should rest for 15 minutes in the loaf pan before being unmolded. Now, I disagree. I like crusty, warm banana bread with a little bit of gooeyness in the middle. So, like I said, it's a choice. If you don't like gooey center, then rest the banana bread for 15 minutes inside the baking pan. If you've been enjoying this video so long and the information that it gives, It'll be great if you could hit that like button for me. It would make me very happy. Now that I've shown you the foolproof method on how to make a banana bread for beginners, are you interested in knowing what are five things that a good carrot cake should never have? Then watch this video, which is also recipe included. I wish you and your family a very happy Christmas and a fantastic new year. I shall see you on another video. Take care.